earthquakes. An earthquake is a sudden and violent shaking of the earth's surface, which usually originates from the interiors of the earth. Most earthquakes are caused by the movements of the plates of the lithosphere. An earthquake usually lasts for only a few seconds, but may be violent enough to cause extensive damages to the life and property. The point at some depth below the earth's surface where the vibrations of an earthquake begin is called the focus. From there, the vibrations begin to spread in all directions, much like the ripples caused by the dropping of a stone into a pool of water. The point on the earth's surface that lies directly above the focus is called the epicenter. The vibrations reach this point first and then spread outward over the surface. Thus, the epicenter usually suffers the maximum destruction, measuring earthquakes. The earthquake waves are recorded by an instrument called seismograph. The science of earthquake is called seismology. Seismologists are experts who study the pattern of earthquakes. The Richter scale, designed by an American seismologist, Charles Richter, is used to measure the magnitude of an earthquake. This scale has a range from 0 to 9. The higher the number on the scale, the greater is the magnitude and destruction. Earthquakes measuring above 6 on the scale are very destructive. Although earthquakes cannot be predicted, the impact can be minimized if we are prepared beforehand. Some common earthquake prediction methods adopted locally by people include studying animal behavior. Fish in the ponds get agitated and snakes come to the surface. Earthquakes are experienced in the same belts where volcanoes are situated. This is because the Earth's crust is very unstable in this region. Earthquakes do not create major landforms. However, they cause changes in the existing landforms. For example, they may cause cracks to open up in the ground. They may also lead to landslides or cause giant waves in the ocean called tsunami. Earthquake at Bhuj A case study A powerful earthquake measuring about 7 on the Richter scale hit the Indian state of Gujarat on 26 January 2001. It caused great damage to the life and property, killing more than 20,000 people and destroying nearly 4 lakh houses. About 16 million people were directly or indirectly affected by the earthquake. The earthquake had its epicenter near Bhuj in Kutch. The region around Bhuj, therefore, suffered the maximum damage. Going by the previous records of earthquakes, the risk of violent and destructive earthquakes is very high in the Bhuj region. So, the rules for constructing earthquake-resistant buildings should have been strictly followed. This could have restricted the collapse of buildings, which is the main cause of deaths in an earthquake. Besides, the Bhuj region is very densely populated, which is another reason for the large number of deaths. In India, we have experienced many earthquakes in the Himalayan region. The Deccan Plateau has experienced some earthquakes of mild intensity and is considered relatively safe from earthquakes. Some destructive earthquakes that have rocked India are listed here. Trivia During the last ice age, glaciers covered 32% of total land area. Presently, only 10% of land area is covered with glaciers. Trivia Glaciers store about 75% of the world's fresh water. In Washington alone, glaciers provide 470 billion gallons of water each summer. Trivia Volcanoes can grow quickly. Although some of the volcanoes can take thousands of years to form, others can grow overnight. For example, the cinder coal volcano, Paracutin, appeared in a Mexican cornfield on February 20, 1943. Within a week, it was five-story tall. And by the end of an year, it had grown to more than 336 meters tall. It ended its growth in 1952 at a height of 424 meters. 
by geology standards that's pretty quick trivia volcanic lightning occurs mostly within the cloud of ash during an eruption and is created by the friction of the ash rushing to the surface roughly 200 accounts of this lightning have been witnessed live trivia parkfield california is known as the earthquake capital of the world and has a bridge that spans two tectonic plates trivia nearly 2000 years ago a chinese astronomer named zhang heng ce 78 to 139 invented the world's first earthquake detector nearly 2000 years ago a chinese astronomer named zhang heng invented the world's first earthquake detector it could detect earthquakes more than 370 miles 600 kilometers away